Meanwhile, researchers are looking at a surprising new tactic to fight wildfires. The Blue Cut Wildfire is now one of the top 20 most damaging in California state history. The fire destroyed more than 100 houses despite the considerable efforts of firefighters. Carter Evans went to a lab looking at firefighting, a firefighting approach that could be more effective. Inside a laboratory tucked away in Missoula, Montana, researchers are deliberately setting a wildfire. This is something you've only been able to observe with this type of experiment? Exactly. Cameras capture the flames from every angle to help scientists like Mark Finney better understand how fires spread. There's an expression that everybody uses uh, here in the U.S., spreads like wildfire, yet we don't even know how wildfires spread. In this specially designed burn chamber, researchers with the U.S. Forest Service measure how fast plants and trees burn. It doesn't even require flame to ignite. No, just hot air. And they study how a fire can propel itself, even without wind. Slow motion video of the experiments shows the flame front forming peaks and troughs like a saw blade. So those troughs, those dips are actually where the fire is advancing? Right, that's right. And it's pushing the flames down into the fuel. But Finney's research also shows more needs to be done outside the lab to cut down on the number of large wildfires. He says the current approach of putting out every fire is not working. If we truly want to manage fire rather than have it manage us, we need to get out there well before those fires and those conditions. The Forest Service spent an unprecedented $1.7 billion fighting fires that burned a record 10.1 million acres last year. Are we making it worse? We are making it worse. By fighting these fires, we unfortunately enter what's called the fire paradox, and that is the harder you try to suppress them, the worse they get when they do happen. Under normal conditions, fires thin out forests, but by constantly putting them out, more unburned brush is left for the next fire. Finney says firefighters should be intentionally setting more so-called prescribed fires to burn off excess vegetation or simply let some natural fires burn. In a statement to CBS News, the Forest Service says it agrees that managed and prescribed fires are important tools, but our capacity to complete this work is restricted by the budget, which is allocated by Congress. The agency also says there are liability issues with state and local governments as more developers push to build homes closer to fire-prone areas. Fire is inevitable. If we convince ourselves that it's not, then essentially we have a repeat every single year of the same situation. For now, scientists hope that by setting these controlled fires in the lab, they'll better understand how to manage them in the forest. For CBS This Morning, Carter Evans, Missoula, Montana.